If you could pack up your life and move to one place, where would you go? Think about it. Now what's stopping you? There's a million things that get in our way. The main one is usually money. And in this US city, money is king. Or queens. <laughs> Ever since my birthday trip to New York City, I've been wanting to go back. I will not shut up about it. I've even started thinking about living here, which is freaking bonkers because it's the most expensive city in the United States. I've never experienced a real winter. I'm from Florida and I'm only 20. But when I got the opportunity to go to New York and talk to some company executives just to see what working at NYC actually looks like, I had to say yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> 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 As amazing as this all looks, there was one problem. We had a very tight schedule. Our wake up calls were at 6.30 a.m. and then our only free time started after 9.30 p.m. But the first day from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., I'm gonna be able to do whatever the heck I want in New York City. This is gonna be so much fun. This first day was my only chance to really explore on my own. So it was imperative that my flight did not get delayed like it did last time, so I had enough time to do everything. See you tomorrow, bright and early. Not only was the flight at 6.45 a.m., but the airport was an hour and a half away from us. So timing was everything. I'm so excited. Honestly, I've never been to this airport before and it looks pretty cute. It's like nice and quaint, pretty quick to go through um, security, someone brought an airsoft gun and they had to, you know, put it away. But it happens, it happens. I'm honestly here quite early. It boards in an hour, so I either nap or I do some work. Now, why am I doing work? Well, this trip is from Sunday to Wednesday. So I had to finish all my homework that didn't get extended. I spent all day Saturday and up to this moment working, but it was worth it because I was finally on my way. So even though my TV screen is broken, I have no one next to me. I have a window seat and I'm just really freaking excited. Now you might be wondering why I'm even going on this trip when I should be saving money and going to my classes. Well, I have three reasons. One, make lifelong connections. Two, Figure out if I can actually make it in New York City, even if it's just for a summer internship. And three, go to the original Buddha Bodai vegetarian restaurant because I've been craving it for months. Well, let me tell you, that last one was a must. <laughs> but seriously, I was about to be in rooms with extremely successful people that have been working for decades. And I was about to be the dumbest, most inexperienced person at the table and I was ready for it. Later on, I'll explain how I even got to go on this trip. But right now, we've touched out in New York City and things are getting a little bit crazy. The mother freaking goose chase running around from shuttle buses. There's a pigeon. Hello? Oh my God. <laughs> There's a bird in there. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> Off camera, this was a mess. The air train was closed, so that meant I had to take a shuttle bus, but they made us go on one bus only to get off of it immediately and hop on to another one. And that bus just took us to another terminal where we had to get off and wait for another bus to finally take us to the station we needed, which was Jamaica Station. And then I had to get on to my train to go to where I needed to be. I got on the train at... 10.57 and I finally made it onto the bus, even though I landed at 9.09. So two hours, because the air train wasn't working, but it's fine. Life goes on, I'm gonna get to New York, I'm gonna put my bags out in the hotel, and I'm going to Washington Square Park first, because I didn't do that last time I was here. In New York. We're in New York. We're in New York. This is all that matters. I'm getting comfortable being uncomfortable like right now. I'm comfortable in the sh in this like shuttle bus talking to y'all But that's honestly just because no one else is here. However, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and push myself and get myself out there. We're gonna talk to people today That's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna freaking live life. We're just gonna go for it Because we have now lost two to three hours I had to rethink my plans entirely and this is what I landed on I knew I was rushing myself a bit, but I wanted to make the most of my time the second I got there. And with that, let's go. I made it! Lo hicimos. Lo hicimos. Yeah, we made it. 
we've made it, Claire, we've made it. As much as my outfit was giving, I need to change. Like, I, I can't handle this anymore. First stop, Washington Square Park. I had to come here to People Watch because it's right by NYU and there's just always a bunch of creatives around, so I knew it would be a very unique experience. Like when I tell you I was there for just a few seconds before someone came up to me and asked to take photos for their socials, which obviously I said yes, he made me want to start talking to people too. So when I saw a crew filming something, I decided to go up and ask. Can I ask you a question? Do you know what they're filming? Yeah. Turns out they were filming a documentary style Japanese show about artists in New York, something I definitely would not have guessed just by looking at them. And after that conversation, I really started to feel confident going up to even more people. Chiquiri, Godwin and I'm a candid chess master. So my question is, if you had to give younger you good advice, what would you give them? I would tell them to be confident in their abilities and um, you know follow their passion. It's very important for you to follow your passion and do what you love to do. Chef, and um, I love that hand always be positive. Never doubt yourself. You know, Chef, listen to that voice inside you and um, work Chef, very hard in whatever you do. You'll always get a result. Mm -hmm. Hi, my name is William Gray. I'm a chess speed day master. Uh, I love to play, I've been playing all my life, and I'm here right now at Washington Square Park with my friends. So if you could tell the world one thing, what would you tell the world? Oh man, play more chess. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a great game. I mean, I, like, I can attest personally, just like all the cognitive benefits that it has and all like the benefits it has, like in terms of like discipline, work ethic. Um, and in terms of like the camaraderie of it and like even if you don't get to a very like like the vast vast majority don't but it still like has like yeah, very very good benefits and game so so accessible online now yeah even though i do not understand a single thing of chess it was still really nice just being there watching them play and chatting it up and hey i did what i said i would talk to strangers <laughs> having many some freaking cool people just by being in the park and interviewing them so hope you enjoy i'm actually gonna go get brunch with my cousin or lunch really we made reservations for Ha 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 Mexicana, which I highly recommend going to. Like, I will definitely be coming back here. It's an all-vegan Mexican restaurant with some gluten-free options. And let me tell you, I don't even eat Mexican food that often, but I thought it was delicious. The vibes were great. And overall, I was just happy to be with my cousin again. We finished pretty quickly, so I bolted to one of my new favorite stores, B&H. As you might remember, this is the wonderland of audio and visual equipment. I went in here for one thing, found it, and immediately bought it and left, so I wasn't tempted to stay longer than I needed to. So I was able to get myself a tripod to vlog with, finally. Um, that was the fastest purchase of my life. I just found one with like grippy handles. He was like, that's the only one with grippy handles. But okay, so it'll be mine. Now at this point, I was struggling off camera. My phone was dying, but I still called Gio to show him Madison Square Garden, but I couldn't even get in. I got boba tea in Chinatown and charged my phone to 10%, but I didn't have enough time to get food from Original Buddha. Then, with only 15 minutes to make it back to my hotel, 5% on my phone, I decided I needed to walk across the Brooklyn Bridge. It was on my way, the weather was perfect, and I love a good rush. But what I didn't realize was how packed it was going to be. Last time I came, it was cold and raining, so I got lucky in that aspect with less people there. But usually, 10,000 people walk over it every day. And on a Sunday, ooh, it's even more packed. But who cares? I'm on the freaking Brooklyn Bridge. <laughs> Such a big grin on my face, it's such a freaking beautiful ass day, bro. Okay, now back to being in a rush. After making it across the bridge, I used my final 2% to memorize the subway directions. I was getting phone calls from our program director at 1%, but eventually I made it back and headed to dinner. After being stuffed with a lot of Italian food at Carmine, I decided to go back to the hotel and give y'all a quick tour of this New York, not apartment, just a hotel. This hotel was strange. They were very focused on fitness to the point where there was actual workout equipment, a book of exercises, and mantras on the ceiling. There's a yoga mat. There's, know, there's the it. foam roll. Honestly, we'll need that. And a freaking block. Like, oh my God, wait. I think, oh my God, wait. I shouldn't touch it. What if it charges us? What if it charges us? What if it charges us? Oh my God, wait a second. For what? For using it? Yes. Oh, wow. 
if you leave with the in-room training guide, you have to pay $150. <laughs> I don't even need that. That's bullshit. That's pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I can do better than that. I don't know anything right. about working out. <laughs> You're really doing a workout out here. I'm just curious. You're actually doing it. You're actually doing it. Yeah, Alex. Yeah, we're really getting it. Although it was pretty silly, the hotel like fitness obsession did match my energy, but it was just not expected at all. The rest of it was pretty basic and simple, but here is our view. Drumroll, please. Not a brick wall. We have a view of downtown of downtown Brooklyn or just Brooklyn in general. And it's honestly kind of scary because I could just fall off right there. But that is our view. The next day was the real start. We woke up at 6 a.m. and left the hotel by 7.30 and headed off to our four meetings of the day. We had an exhaustive itinerary, but it's the right way to get thrown into the hustle and bustle of Manhattan. At every company, we do something different. We can help with a campaign, engage in civil discourse, or even take part in cool activities like this one where we drew our visualizations of diversity, equity, and inclusion. After that, we headed off to our next meeting and I was so excited about this company. We were meeting with RGA, a marketing and digital design agency that I basically want to work at after being here. The office is beautiful. I've never seen anything like this. There's outsider art everywhere, awards lining across different walls, and there was even a spot dedicated to the evolution of technology. Announced the new line of MacBook Air, it came inside, on st when it went on the stage, it was inside that envelope. Oh, oh yeah, because it was like revolutionary because of how thin it was. Yeah. yeah. So, wow. oh. to show. Oh. That's Matt Jacob, the executive creative director who showed us a glimpse of what he does, working with AI, filming, producing, etc. And all I could think of is, I want to do that in a place like this. <laughs> Before you move anywhere, you need to find something like this, a place or position you can see yourself in. Obviously, I'm not fully confident about how I'll get to here, but all I know is that I've got a dream, a goal, and being here, in this office, in this chair, it gave me hope. So how is all of this possible? As you may remember from this video, I'm part of a group called the National Millennial and Gen Z Community. Bill Amata, one of the founders, sets up trips like these so we can meet with different companies and people in the marketing, advertising, and media industry, and we give them our insights as the younger generation. These incredible opportunities are offered two to three times a year with lots of virtual events planned as well. I am incredibly grateful for all the experiences NMGZ has given me because they truly make me feel like I can make something of myself. With every talk, every note I write down, I get inspired and it brings me one step closer to becoming my best self. Now that we've finished all of our meetings for the day, it is time for dinner. It seems like we have something special planned for us. Uh, our intervention. And a little bit about street tacos. Ooh. Ooh. So, but what does it mean, right? So the secret I learned from the taqueria. How are you enjoying it? Something I've come up with over the years, um, but I find it to be a very good enhancer of flavors. Found the gym, and I'm gonna do a little bit of a workout. It's very short before we all head out, but this is the gym. Everyone else in the group is having like drinks, so they're trying to go to bed. I just want to get a quick workout in, you know? So yeah, I'm gonna finish this up, and then I'll take you out on the town.
<laughs> Say hi. <laughs> do a little spin. Do, do something. Show us. The next day, I decided to wake up at 6.30 a.m. and go on a run. Running in a new area is extremely exciting and nerve-wracking at the same time, but I could not pass up seeing this sunrise. This was an unforgettable experience. I look at these videos and I smile so hard because I know how proud and alive I felt running these four and a half miles. After this, I was ready for whatever the day had in store, which included a mariachi band on the subway. <laughs> okay, Drew, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> For our second day of meetings, we went to three places. First up was Deutsch, where we came up with ideas for one of their clients. Secondly, we went to the Four World Trade Center and met with Padilla. The office was gorgeous and very high up. I'm talking 43 floors. At Padilla, we had a lot of fun. Not only did we engage in great conversations, we also got to take a crack at food styling and we even had a photo competition, which I won. <laughs> and it was overall just an amazing experience. Then we had to go to our third stop, which was the Advertising Club of New York. And that was probably the most inspiring moment of the trip. We got to chat with some of the members one-on-one -on -one and had Q&A sessions where we heard everyone's amazing stories from starting their businesses from scratch and working with dream clients to leaving their jobs behind to move to a different country. I truly wish we got to spend more time with them, but of course we had to head off to dinner. Then for our last night in New York City, Savannah and I decided to explore all of downtown Manhattan. To yell something. I don't know what we should yell though. Yeah. What do you want to say? Okay, okay. <laughs> let's say it, let's say it. New York! Yes. <laughs> that's a good one, that's a good one. She <laughs> you. You've been enchanting this heart of mine for the longest time. Slow dancer. so freeing just running around that night. I loved seeing her reaction because this was actually her first time here. And of course, I'm still baffled by everything. It's my second time, but it's just so amazing being able to share that same feeling with someone else. Freaking crazy, right? And then look up, look up, bro. Fucking stars, dude. <laughs> it's, uh, it's our zodiac signs. <laughs> And just like that, our last day of the trip arrived. So let's see how we did with our three goals. One, I met with some amazing, inspiring, and strong individuals that I hope to connect with later in life. That includes different NMGZ members from around the globe, essentially, and the professionals that we met. Two, it's safe to say I have a few applications to consider, plus a lot of planning and research to be done, but moving to NYC doesn't seem impossible, even if it's just for two months. And this may be on a more personal level, but if my mother, who only speaks Spanish, can travel from Honduras to Miami, one of the most expensive cities in the United States as well, by foot and bus, I don't think I should be worried about moving to a place I've now been in twice. I'm in New York. And three, don't think I forgot, I was planning my whole day around this damn restaurant. Spot, original Buddha in Chinatown, y'all. I just wanted some noodles and vegan chicken, and that's exactly what I got. I even got orange chicken to take back home to Gio. I plan on trying the whole menu at some point, but for now, this will suffice. In my heart of hearts, I think that if you want something so bad, you can get it. Even making this video, I smile at every moment that I watch. I am thankful for every person that I met on this trip or that I reconnected with. 
I'm thankful for every laugh I got to share. And I'm thankful I get to be a part of NMGZ and get once in a lifetime opportunities like this. I really have a lot of hope for the future. A lot of times I don't and my heart hurts and it yearns for something greater than where I'm at right now. But getting to be here, I feel a lot stronger, a lot more confident. And if you're like me and you really want to go to New York City, I think you definitely can.